train is set to arrive this week at Icon Park to continue taking down the free fall ride where a 14 year old boy fell to his death last year. West 2's Liv Johnson is live at Icon Park for us this morning and Liv crews have been working on this site for almost a week now. Yeah, Sheldon, the goal is to have the ride taken down by next Friday, March 24th, which will mark one year since Tyree Sampson died. This has been a long process and the family has been very outspoken about how badly they want this ride to come down. An investigation by the state showed the seat Tyree was in last March had been manually adjusted and was wide enough to allow him to slip out of the ride as it came down. The owner of the ride, Orlando Eagle Drop Slingshot, reached a settlement with the state, which includes paying a $250,000 fine and ensuring they will not operate or reapply for a permit to operate a drop tower in Florida in the future. Today, the Florida Senate Agriculture Committee is scheduled to consider two ride safety bills. One of the bills is called the Tyree Sampson Act, and it would include new ride certification requirements and yearly testing requirements in the hopes that nothing like this would ever happen again. I have an Icon Park. I'm Liv Johnson, Washington News.